Muslim Brotherhood taking over Egypt. Mohamed Morsi is putting himself above any kind of review, basically making himself something of a dictator. Joining us now is Zudi Jasser from the American Islamic Forum for Democracy. Let's get straight to it. Uh, we pay Egypt billions of dollars per year. It's been taken over by the Muslim Brotherhood. They now have a dictator. Should we keep paying? Absolutely not, Stuart. And, you know, it's so important for us to not only stop paying them, but, but the IMF, for example, just yesterday said they were going to pay uh, $40 billion. So, you know, I think ultimately we need to have a strategy to engage their ideology. They're proving themselves over and over again to be dishonest and to be just another dictator. And we're seeing people come to the street. You know, Stuart, I know you asked that question before the break about whether, you know, democracy can hold. Yes. The people are coming back into the street. There is hope, but they're not going to be able to do it in a vacuum. We need to back the people in Tahrir. The Brotherhood did not win with a majority. Okay. They're proving themselves to be just another dictator and Revolution 2.0, 3.0, and ultimately Jesse, it will evolve. Uh, yeah, okay, I've got to press that point. Nowhere in North Africa, nowhere in the Middle East at the moment, are Mus Islamic societies, Muslim societies, nowhere is a democracy present in any way, shape, or form that you and I would recognize as a democracy. It, at the very least, it is a long, long way away. And people might, like me say the two are not compatible. Go. Well, this is, you know, my book, A Battle for the Soul of Islam, talks about how it can be. It's not now, but it can be in the future. And we need to take the sides of those on the street, the women's groups, the, the liberals, the, the minorities, and those that can make that society grow, grow. Even us in America, when we had our revolution, it took us a while. It took us a civil war and even hundreds of years until we started to realize our own ideas and what freedom and the separation of powers is. If Egyptians are going to understand the separation of powers, balance of powers, they need to, okay. to be pushed to accept rule of law, and they've not been pushed by America sorry, or the West to I'm do that. I'm sorry to cut it off so short, Dr. Jassa. We're very short on time, but we always appreciate your opinion. Thanks for coming on today. Thank you. Thanks, Stuart. Anytime. Morvani